Roasting on your Weber Q is so easy. And no matter which model you have, you'll get fantastic results. Let me show you how to set up and preheat your Q ready for roasting. To convert your Q from a barbecue into an oven, you'll need a double layer of aluminium foil or a Q convection tray and your Q trivet. When using foil, place it directly on top of the grill and use the trivet to hold it in place. Using a knife, cut slits in the foil to allow the fats to drain away. When doing this, we are trying to make sure that the fat doesn't fall onto the grill bars, but drops between them. To make roasting and baking even easier, Weber have developed this convection tray to use in place of the foil. It's made specifically to fit your Weber Q. Just place it in the middle of the grill. It easily locates into position. And pop your trivet on top. It comes in three sizes. One for the baby Q, the Q, and the family Q. To light your barbecue, turn the gas bottle on. Turn your control knob to the start high position, then immediately press the igniter button. Preheat on high for 10 minutes. Today we are cooking a roast leg of lamb. This one's about two and a half kilos. A lovely way to prepare your lamb is with some garlic, rosemary, some lemon juice, and salt and pepper. Make around eight to 10 incisions in the lamb and place a small sliver of garlic and a small amount of rosemary into each one. Then squeeze the lemon and smear the juice all over the outside and generously season with salt and pepper. I often hear people suggest that you should cook meat for so many minutes per kilo, but we believe that the cooking time of roasts has surprisingly little to do with its weight. It has more to do with the thickness and the temperature. Here's a great tip for you from the Complete Australian Barbecue Kettle Cookbook. Take this porterhouse steak for example. Now just imagine we roast it. I reckon it would take around 20 minutes for the heat to roast it through. But if we were to roll it up into a round roast, it would take significantly longer, around an hour. This is because meat cooks by absorbing the heat from the outer surface to its middle. Consequently, the thicker the meat, the longer it takes to cook. A good guide to the time needed to cook roasts is to allow one minute of cooking time per millimetre. For example, our leg of lamb measures around 90 millimetres at the thickest part. So it will take around 90 minutes to cook through to medium. Now we're ready to cook, let's place our roast on the trivet. Turn your control knob to the roast setting and close the lid. With an hour to go in your cooking, it's the best time to do your roast vegetables. And place them on the trivet around your roast. One final word on roasting. Old habits die hard. And a lot of people still want to roast in a baking dish. But take my advice, don't. Baking dishes are for the oven, not for the Weber Q. Using foil or a convection tray with your trivet, your food cooks fat free, it cooks faster, and messy spitting fats are kept to a minimum. Remember, all the information you need to get the best out of your Weber Q can be found in this little cookbook that comes with your barbecue. For advanced cooking tips and recipes, Australia's own cookbook for the Weber Q is also available for purchase. With well over 100 pages of recipes, it has everything from entrees, mains and even desserts.